The feds are on the lookout for Black Youngster. He's wanted for the investigation of Young Dolph, and they decided that Black Youngster is basically being a suspect in this case because of his connection to Yo Gotti and the people at the cookie shop that has something to do with Young Dolph getting set up and having his location dropped and basically people waiting there to meet with him so that he they could try to actually set him up to take him out, man. And they said that Yo Gotti's brother, one of the messages that they found on his phone was the conversation between Yo Gotti and everybody from CMG and how he was saying that he was about to put the money on Dolph's head and let all the hitters know that this is going down and that this is when they met right before Dolph got hit up. They met the night before at the Ruth Chris and um, basically... They had everybody inside of Yo Gotti's restaurant and they were running the play on what they was about to do, man. So this is why a lot of people got to realize that it's going down. If you guys are rocking with Young Dolph, go ahead and hit the comment section. Let me know where y'all from. Put the dolphin emoji, who you rocking with. Are y'all Young Dolph fans? Let us know, man. So now they're looking at it like this detective. They've been going around searching for black youngster. They said that he's on the run. He might have escaped to Mexico. They're trying to bring him back because they're going to get the justice for Young Dolph. If y'all want the justice for Young Dolph, subscribe to the channel and like this video. So now that they're doing that, they basically already figured out that that Bentley truck was the getaway car. They caught the dudes from the white foreign two door and the um, bands. And then they also got the drivers, everybody that has something to do with it. Now, when they went back and started looking at the suspect list they they realized that black youngster he actually is part of this whole thing because the driver shondale barnett the guy who got caught up with straight drop that's black youngster's homie that's his right hand man that's his hitter so you got to understand that that guy actually told on black youngster to give himself a lesser sentence and that's why the feds are now indicting black youngster and yo Gotti. so they're gonna because black youngster and yo Gotti are no longer friends he black youngster left cmg yo Gotti had to drop him jay-z said so because it was bringing a lot of heat on the whole cmg because they're trying to avoid a rico and they can't have black youngster be a part of their team because the way that these detectives and investigators are doing this case they already made the connections between the last times that the dudes ran up on young Dolph and black youngster was the guy that turned himself in during the hundred shots so if black youngster did the hundred shots and he turned himself in and Dolph didn't press charges then they know that this time around black youngsters got to be involved and he already worked for yo Gotti, so it seemed like yo Gotti is paying black youngster to basically go out and try to get people taken out in the streets and this is why they're gonna put a stop to this whole entire thing they can't have yo Gotti get that big and start putting hits and orders out like that and having his artists and everything be the ones that's going out there and doing these things like they're supposed to be making songs and doing shows and everything like that and getting their money and taking care of their families and so this is why a lot of people the community of memphis got to come together because this is what's tearing the whole thing down cmg yo Gotti and them they still pushing the street mentality they want everybody to be crap they want everyone to crash out be crash test dummies and so that yo is the only person that got any kind of money around there young Dolph he was trying to teach everybody how to make millions so that they could all be like helping and supporting themselves and their families without having to basically give all the power and sign to Yo Gotti this is what that's what he wants and so this is why a lot of people was jealous envious of young Dolph because he basically had the whole entire city of Memphis the whole south he had the whole game more respect towards him yo Gotti and them they never gave back to the community they never did the backpack drives back to school he didn't they didn't do giveaways like how young Dolph did young Dolph was really trying to help people he was paying their bills he was taking care of a lot of families even those who could the, the ones that was less fortunate that's who young Dolph was helping out Yo Gotti, he was just flexing on everybody and basically trying to sign money bag yo even though Dolph was the one who really put him on and made him famous and so this goes back to years and years and years of beef this is why the tensions in Memphis has been so high and that it all escalated to the point where Yo Gotti decided he was going to put money on Dolph head and so that's what Mia J had heard and so because she heard that she upped the bag to to basically get a reward money for people who could figure out who did this to young Dolph and now because the investigation has gone so long and there's so many people involved 
involved in everything like that they got all the witnesses stories they got the people who's telling on each other now they're about to go after the heads of the snake which is yogati black youngster anybody like govan and them they basically told on the the hot like they told on yogati right before big juk got hit up big juk would have went down with yo with yogati and black youngster because Govan Hernandez was giving information to the feds He was trying to get a lesser sentence in time And he was trying to make it seem like he wasn't a part of it And so he cooperated and told the feds at MPD About how Yogati was the one who put him onto this He sent the money in his account and told him to go and try to do this And if it, if it was successful that he was going to get paid They worked with Big Juk to try to recruit the dudes in the streets This is how it all went down man This is how they got all the people together Govan and Big Juk were the ones who was pretty much getting everybody together Yogadi put the money up and ultimately he was the one who was the decision maker so when he said go everybody left the um Prive restaurant and they all went out started looking for young Dolph man so then eventually now they're all getting caught by the karma because now they they realize that they should have left this street life alone a long time ago when they were getting their money they should have stayed focused on that and how to double it and triple it instead of how to figure out how to lose it all and crash out and get back to the same level and being behind the cell that don't work out for a lot of people like a lot of you guys don't want to have to live that kind of lifestyle so what you got to understand is that people in the community need to come together to make sure that we are representing Young Dolph and giving the advocacy. We have to remember that Young Dolph is the king of Memphis and he was trying to show everybody how to make it out and everything like that. So you have to respect that. And basically, this is what ultimately made everybody else around Young Dolph start hating because if they... If they didn't like Young Dolph, they was going to hear about Young Dolph everywhere. Their kids liked him. The baby mamas liked him. Everywhere they went, they heard his music and everything like that. So a lot of the people, man, they pretty much got hypnotized by the hate and it caused them to like do some ir irrational things. And so now when we looking back at it, we realize that the Young Dolph trial is coming up. The people in the cookie shop, they ha must have had some knowledge and something to do with this. It ain't no just random thing where y'all keep saying you getting robbed and everything like that then young Dolph comes in and some he gets hit up when you guys are literally on radio stations on interviews saying that you're taking yo Gotti's side makita's raven literally said that she's on yo Gotti's side she wants to be a part of cmg and so what does that mean that means the cookie shop was really ops to young Dolph, and they was playing both sides you got to understand how dangerous the cookie shop people were man you can't trust nobody like that because in one instance where Young Dolph's going in there and they taking pictures of him trying to flex, make it seem like Young Dolph support them and everything like that. Then on the other hand, they going behind Dolph's back and telling Yo Gotti, yeah, Young Dolph be coming up here. Yeah, he, he da da da. We could get him to come up here. He wants to do a music video. So they basically play both sides in the cookie shop backdoored Young Dolph because they were already talking to Yo Gotti, trying to set something up because they needed the money. They owed Young Dolph money from him, like fronting them. He was coming to pick it back up. He was gonna do the video and everything like that. Young Dolph's businesses was close by to the cookie shop. That's why he was even so friendly to them and he went up there when he went up there he had his he didn't even have his supercars normally he drive he drove the little pickup truck to go up there because he was being low-key so all of a sudden how does he end up there with the corvette and then it's parked all different and they took Dolph keys and then the cookie shop keep getting like broken into and then all of a sudden Dolph ends up getting hit up there it sounded like a back door like a setup like they knew this was gonna happen and they played along with it and that's what a lot of people think man r.i.p the young Dolph if y'all Dolph fans put the Dolph emoji in the comment section like and subscribe and stay tuned for the breaking news updates coming soon